Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do another um, Goodwill thrift haul video. I went to the Goodwill over here in um, Austin and I found a few things uh, to list in my store. I'm really trying to get up to 100 items and that's kind of going to be my goal. I'm going to just try to keep it at 100 items because really that's all that I have the room to store. So, and I've been meaning to go to the Goodwill bins. I'm I'm going to try to start going there because the Goodwills, of course, here and everywhere are kind of raising their prices and um, it's just harder to make money that way. So anyway, let's get started. Um, the first item, actually, I think I'm going to keep this for myself. Um, the brand is Intro, which I'm pretty sure is like a boutique store brand. Um, and it's just a really cute, really pretty uh, gray top and it fit really well. It's a large, um, you can see the tag, it's intro and I paid $7.49 for it. So that's great for me. I can, I can wear that if, yeah, so I'll probably keep that for myself. Um, the next one I was super excited to find. It's a free people brand and it is in great condition. It's this really pretty, um, like, I don't know what color this is, kind of like a pinkish rose, um, I don't know, anyway, but it is free people. I paid $8.99 for it. I don't know if you can see the, the tag, there it is. Um, it's a size medium. I did a little research and I'm gonna try to list it for 28. That was kind of the mid range. So um, yeah, anyway, I was really, really happy to find that. Um, I was also excited to find this Abercrombie and Fitch top. This is kind of one of the minimalist kind of looking things that's so popular right now. Um, it's just a ribbed, um, long sleeved, kind of thicker shirt would be great for fall and winter. Um, I paid $8.99 for it also. They they know these are good brands. That's I just I just wish they would still price them low. I mean it's not like they um don't have enough inventory. I mean just price them lower. But um I know a lot of people are complaining about that and stuff. So there's nothing we can do. <laughs> as far as I know. Anyway it's a size medium Abercrombie and Fitch. Um it doesn't seem to have been worn a whole lot, um, but I actually tried it on, but it, it makes me look really washed out. So um, that's good. I'm not going to keep it. I, I want to list it. Um, I also found these Denizen, uh, wait, see, Denizen from Levi's. I believe they sell these at Target and um, really cute. They look brand new as well. Um, I actually tried them on and they fit perfectly. So I think I'm going to keep them for myself. Um, they were mid-rise boyfriend jean. Um, I paid $8.99 for them. Um, I just love them, though, and they were so comfortable. They have a little bit of a stretch to them, so that was great. Um, I also found these glasses, and I found uh, four of them. And they're, I think they're low-ball glasses for, like, um, whiskey or whatever, and, um, they're, they're really pretty. They kind of look like Mikasa. I, I don't think that they're Mikasa because you can kind of see, um, a little bit of a seam. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but if you can see the seam where, I guess that's how they make the glass or something, or maybe it's not a seam. I don't know. I paid two, two fifty for them each. I found a set of four. Um, I did a little bit of research. They weren't really going for that much. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to list mine for maybe 15 to 18 since I have a full set. So that's good. Um, I also found this mug. I love selling mugs. I love coffee mugs myself. I do um, have a little bit of a collection. And this one was um, Magpie by Sarah Young. And I just have to clean this sticker off. But it was two fifty. Also, um, maybe someone would love to add this to their collection. Owls are very collectible, so we'll see. And then I have a few things that I want to 
that um like these were my boyfriend's he had these uh campfire mugs um they are ceramic but they're kind of made to look like tin um and i'm gonna list them for how much did i decide like twelve dollars for the set so we'll see maybe those will sell and I'm also, I also decided I'm going to go ahead and try listing my wedding dress again. I got married in my thirties, early thirties, and, um, I was married for two years, but it didn't, didn't work out. Um, I tried selling my wedding dress a few years ago and I ended up selling it for 50 and then it didn't, um, it didn't fit. So she sent it back and I was a little discouraged. So I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, relist it, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Um, so I was going to show that to y'all real quick. It's a, it's kind of a, um, oh, I forget what this length is called, but it's, it's a shorter wedding dress. Um, this was the original length of it. It's really pretty. Um, I actually have the straps added, so I will definitely disclose that in my listing. Um, but it's in great shape still. It doesn't appear to have any kind of yellowing. I need to just go ahead and list it. You know, um, I am not going to ever use it again. I, I can't quite fit back into it. So <laughs> I'm going to do that. Probably list it for around, around 50. Um, yeah. And I also have this bridesmaid dress that I wore in my sister's wedding, um, which is pretty, it, it would still fit me. Um, it was shortened. Um, I just, it looks too much like a bridesmaid dress for me to ever really wear it again. Um, anyway, so I'm going to list it. I know a lot of people will, um, you know, shop online for their entire bridal party, like dresses. And, um, I just think that's so awesome whenever, you know, people will, will resell stuff like that. And, um, you know, shop for thrifted items, even for like wedding dresses and bridesmaids dresses. If I ever get married again, fingers crossed, I may end up looking for, you know, um, a, a wedding dress thrifted, but we'll see. It's, it's really important to be able to try it on and all that. So anyway, we're not there yet. So, um, that's all that I have for my haul video today. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.